Uh, now we are about to talk about a topic that is very close to my heart. Um, we're going to talk about a sector that has the potential to, you know, offer Nigeria much, much more youth labor than any other sector, except maybe for agriculture. All right, and or you already know the, in, the sector that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the entertainment industry. It is the in, one industry in Nigeria that practitioners on their own have nurtured to a place where it has become the third fastest growing in, in the world. I mean, see the advancements of Nollywood. See how the Nigerian music industry has changed how Nigeria is seen across the globe. Our people are beginning to win Grammy Awards and artists are beginning to get recognition all over the world. But back here at home, where are the incentives? Where is the enabling environment for them to flourish here at home? And most times when you look at our artists that are doing very, very well overseas, yes, there may be talents from Nigeria, but it is that influence overseas that has helped them achieve the kind of success that we are talking about. So on the panel with me now, we have some players in the industry. Uh, I have uh, on the panel a cappella. A cappella is uh, a comedian, an actor, and a fantastic singer as well when he chooses to. <laughs> I have Rugged Man. Rugged Man is a musician. Uh, once in a while, he shows his face in other, on other things. He's also an on-air personality. Um, we have Ime Bishop, a.k.a. Oko Lagos. <laughs> you already know him, a comedian, a fantastic actor, and a man who has also had a small stint on the political side of the divide. Of course, I've been your co-host all evening. Uh, my name is Oke Bakasi. Anyways, uh, and these are all my friends. So, uh, gentlemen, our sector, we have seen administration over administration we have seen how much the youth of this country have been neglected you know in terms of planning it looks like the country has been designed for a few privileged individuals to the detriment of all the other creative young-minded people who can bring a lot of energy to the economy all right and here on the program today just to you know fill you in a little on some of the things that we've talked about We've had people who drafted the manifesto come here to talk about industrial clusters that are in the manifesto. You know, they're they are talking about development areas where you have tech uh, industries developing alongside other sectors of the economy, everything geared towards moving us from uh, production, uh, consumption, consumption to production. production. All right, they've talked about what they're going to do in the power sector you know, to turn things around. The entertainment industry, what do we need that the Obidati movement can do differently from what has been done? Uh, let me start with um, uh, Okun. Mm. Well, um, what can be done? A lot can be done. Okay. A lot can be done. You know, the entertainment industry is... Um, is uh, it's a bit multifaceted. Mm -hmm. It's not, we have uh, the genre of arts uh, spanning from music you know, to um, teledrama. A long, a long list, if you begin yes. to reel out all the yes. list, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's a long. It's long. Uh, yeah. but, 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 but the most outstanding, uh, the most uh, arguably prominent yeah. of all of them is uh, the movies uh, and music. Uh, the music, uh, stand up comedy, you know. <laughs> And now um, uh, we have um, uh, how do I put it? The skit making. Is that, I can put all that on the acting and, and whatever yes, yes, and whatever. Yes. So yes, yes. What do you guys need? Not like I'm not part of it. Though. Okay. <laughs> not like I'm not part of it. I'm part of you people. Yes. But what do you guys need? That, you see, we need we need funding. Okay. We need basic funding. Yeah. Mm. Funding can be, cash is not only the only source of money, or mm -hmm. the only form of money. Okay. Yeah. We need fiscal funding, mm -hmm. uh, and also funding by way of um, putting things in place. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Yeah, you know, intervention. In place. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you there, so that you can digest properly, and find your, 
weird because I'm going to ask you. Everybody needs funding, actually. Everybody, everybody needs funding. Needs, everybody needs this funding. Funding. Effective, uh, not just funding. Effective funding. Good. Yes. I, I, I'll come back to you mm. on that aspect. But let me go to the music guy. Let me go to Rugged Man. Mm. Rugged Man, you've been in the music industry for a very long time. All right? So, okay. if you were to be part of the team that, will, that contributed to the Obidati Manifesto, and you had to put things in it, all right? Seeing where we are and how things have not gone well, okay. what are the areas where you think, okay, you guys touch up here, touch up here, you know? Um, I'd say, uh, well, uh, this one word that's always been out there for ages now has always been copyright. Mm -hmm. You know, copyright. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm a member of uh, I'm a member of the executives for the Performing Musicians Employers Association of Nigeria, which is PMAN. And uh, I know one of the one of the things on ground is the fact that Nigeria loses over 15 trillion to piracy every year. Wow, that is a fact, not bleep bleep. And this is something we've learned like three years ago. And if I remember correctly, when did Nigeria's uh, um, budget finally get to a trillion? Now imagine if we were, if we were like make, saving that money for the country. You know, imagine what it would do to our budget and to the economy. But and apart from piracy, we also need uh, the government to look into uh, telcos and the likes who actually use not just musicians, uh, um, intellectual property, but also uh, movies and pay us way less than we're supposed to get because mm -hmm. right now uh the sharing formula is telcos are getting 70 percent entertainers create content creators are getting 30 okay. percent which is not supposed to be anywhere in this world but that's what's happening in nigeria so that's part of what i would want the government to look into and reverse that okay almost. so so yeah still still have that be processing that further because i'm going to also ask questions I'm, i want to go to a couple no, of I, I want to also yes, yes. Man, what a good man has said mm. if i it's so it's so heartbreaking that you will see that we do the same thing that other people do. I'll uh, give you an instance. Um, Facebook, YouTube, like royalty protection, for instance. There's something that they call the RPM. Mm -hmm. Like he said, they share 70, 30. Mm -hmm. And so the RPM means that per view, I make so, 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 and so. Mm -hmm. If you look it through Nigeria and other parts of the world, so maybe somebody in the U.S. is getting $1.10. We are getting 0 0.001. So somebody from USA can get 100,000 views mm. and make, for instance, $3,000. You can get 3 million views and you don't mm. have $500. Mm -hmm. And why? Why is it so? Okay, so I think... Because, that, I mean, what... Is it that the government will be the one to say to these people? Because that's private business, anyways. Is it that we get our legislators to put in place measures that will make anybody who is practicing in this space to look at whatever you're doing elsewhere, what is good for the Jews, like we say is good for Uganda. Uganda, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, whatever no, no, you're... No, no, add, add there, with specific reference, <laughs> oh, 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 well, with all due respect. To yes, people, yes. As I, before, <laughs> yeah. I, want to, I want to look at it. I, like, so, <laughs> I think for me, we, yeah. I want the government to put, uh, either, um, have a policy that actually make sure that uh, uh, Nigerians, Nigerian creative uh, content creators Wonder, get yeah. paid the same as the American and the British. Because Nigerian. content is content. Yes, because one, content is content. But mm -hmm. I, And as we speak, mm -hmm. even the ones getting the 0, 0.00 .0 are getting it because they have people acting as agents between them. them yes. and, and YouTube. Nigeria, and is, not Nigeria is not eligible. Nigeria is not eligible. But, brotherly, who are the people who make content go viral the most in this world? Nigerians, Nigerians yes. You understand? So, but we get paid less. So that is one of the major things I would yeah, like to Yeah, and part of it is, I think, because, you know, they look at the body language of your government. They are not even serious. If people can ban Twitter, you know, and other platforms that are helping the youths, mm -hmm. you know, project their potential and make money, mm -hmm. you know, and ban it for no good reason, for like forever then why do you expect owners of those platforms to now begin to reward your people when the body language of your government shows, oh, okay, I mean, you people, we don't even care you about know, you guys. You know another, you an, know another one? Cable. Yeah. Cable. The cable TV. Cable TV. Yeah. 
let me not mention name because they're not paying us. Yes, they're yeah. not paid for it, but unless yeah, they yeah. contribute immensely to this uh, mm. uh, uh, yes. fundraiser, then yeah. I'll mention the name. But yeah. apart, let me not mention the name. Yeah. Now, there's a certain cable company that increases their tariffs at will yes. in Nigeria. It's like mood swing. And yes. in their own, and, but in their own country, when you subscribe for one month, you can pause your subscription and travel for a year, yeah. come back and resume. Yeah. That yeah. same yeah. one yeah. month. Yeah. 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 But in Nigeria, yeah, if you like, light day, light no deal, uh, you day house, you know, they really just like one for every he time. Did, he's no, reading, no, and you go. So yes. we need to, we need the in, government to check all this in, in, and let the people outside, let foreigners respect us. Yeah, it. You are only going to be treated the way you want to be treated. That is the truth. You know. Yeah, but I'm not yeah. the one that will talk to these people. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, government. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, that's why it's, we're here. It's the government. That's why we. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to do everything to make sure that we put in a very responsible government that is going to mirror the true nature of the Nigerian people to be perceived by the uh, members of the international community. You know, so that that respect can be drawn to us and can mm -hmm. yes, can 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 be drawn directly. Yeah, to us. you know, you see. If not, we're still going to be like that. How are they going to respect us? Hey, How? Okon, I want to align with you a little because if you look at the history of television in Africa, the first place television came in Africa was Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? And how many years later, other people, you know, had the same experience. But fast forward to 2023, we have a foreign cable company doing way better in Nigeria than elsewhere in Africa. And our own flagship TV is not even doing half as well. It's still depending on government mm -hmm. for lifeline. Cannot, so be, I mean, with all the funds that are injected into the national career every year, when you tune, that, when you tune their station, you will be wondering what are we in are we still in the stone age in terms of in, in terms of clarity of the picture that you get you know with all the with all the financial you know you know, you know so, so imagine that, so so imagine that that station or that corporation had grown in ways that it should have grown Will these people come here, dominate, and give us the shorter end of the stick? It wouldn't happen. So these are areas I think, you know, and I'm happy. I, at one uh, forum, I was listening to P2B talk about it. He mentioned the National Career Board, Radio and Television, that there will be serious intervention. You know, mm -hmm. they will learn to run independently and be able to, because there is no way you will say you have the widest reach and government will always be spoon-feeding you. Yeah. It doesn't, they have the widest it, reach. It, it doesn't, it doesn't the, make sense. In the stricter sense of the word sense. widest, they have the widest In reach. the content world, followership translates into money. Yes. Yeah? Widest reach should translate into revenue. Mm -hmm. So they have no reason to be underperforming. For widest I, I, reach and the yeah. widest well to fill. Yes. You I, know, think, I think the government needs to set up. It's not just setting up, um, what do you call it, a body or an organization. It has to be effective. You yeah. The problem we have in this country give you an is blah, 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 blah. Hold on, I capitalize. Do you know that stuff yeah. today? Yeah. Mm. Nigerians are one of the most people, uh, users of Facebook and Instagram. Instagram pays for content creation. Facebook pays for content creation. Nigeria is not eligible. Mm -hmm. To earn money, you have to be linked yeah. to another country. With everything we are doing. And, uh, I'm not even sure people in government knows. They are yeah. not interested. <laughs> Everybody is thinking about oil money. Yeah, okay. Okay. For yeah. me, I know one, one, I think one office, I think it's, um, it's time we actually, uh, uh, you know, ask the government to create a minister for entertainment. Yeah. yeah. To be honest. I yes. think it's time yes. Yes. for the Nigerian government to create the office of the minister of entertainment. Yes. And please, it has to be an entertainer. Yeah. Even if it's not a even minister. Even if it's, it's a department. 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 Uh, no, no. What I, what I mean, whoever yeah. is going to end it has to be yeah. somebody, either an Understand. entertainer yeah. or yes. somebody who knows about entertainment. entertainment yes. It doesn't have to be a musician. It can even be an round, entertainment lawyer. Round plug in round hole. Yes. So that, yes, we want a round plug in a round hole. Yeah. We don't want somebody, a carpenter to come and run entertainment. Yes. I, 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 I agree with you completely. Why it's not working. Because look at what has happened to sports. Because sometimes when we talk about sports, let us not forget that Sports is also a entertainment. entertainment. It's a form of entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Because look at what the EPL is doing for England. Mm -hmm. All right? The Arabs are spending so much money acquiring clubs. Mm -hmm. Imagine if it was happening in Nigeria that 
uh, Arabs are Coming rolling over themselves Nigerian trying clubs. to buy Nigerian clubs. Yeah, sports. What, that, what, that's, that's sports what it would do for foreign exchange earnings mm. and how it will strengthen the Naira. Look at places like Brazil, for instance. Some equivalent of states in Brazil, what they generate from selling players abroad is more than so many states in Nigeria combined. Mm -hmm. you, clubs that produce people like Neymar, People like the, the young boy who plays yeah. for Arsenal, Martinelli, and all these people. Mascherano, Tevez, that, that you was in can just You can just name them. Imagine that... Martinez from, of yes, Man U. Yeah, imagine that the Ministry of Sports is living it up to its expectation that you have people who understand sports and they are not just using that ministry to settle political hangers yes. on. Because it looks like anything that has to do with the Nigerian youths they just leave it yes, for one person. Uh, okay, think. we don't give you anything. No. Uh, we never give Use this man anything. Body. I, I mean, go stay for sports. And the man will be near 70. Yes, yes. So they then, need you. Yes, he never <laughs> run before. He never <laughs> jog before. Okay. He never play football <laughs> for his whole he life. Never even know he never even go watch match before. <laughs> oh, okay. You understand? They will give him sports to handle. Okay. You know? Yeah. They bring all manner of characters. So imagine that government had taken all this sector seriously. And let Nigeria just create the enabling environment. Because I remember having the opportunity to contribute to a government document in, in one of the states. And at the time, we looked at the state. And in every local government, they had stadium. Mm -hmm. at, but that we are useless. Because youths will not, if you go to those stadia, they are like, they are bush. Not your wide location. Yes, all manner of reptiles <laughs> reside there. And having reptile Olympics, <laughs> what is supposed to be a sports facility of a local government. So part of the recommendation is go around the entire state. All the stadia in that state, rehabilitate. Put modern sport equipment. Put uninterrupted power. Put Wi-Fi. What are they doing with local government funds? If you have a stadia, if you have all the stadia in a, in a state fully equipped with light 24 hours and uninterrupted internet, mm -hmm. now what will happen is that it becomes a hub in the local government yes, exactly. for young people to go and take advantage of light. Because there's 24-hour light there, even if they don't have it in their homes, they can sit in the mm -hmm. stand and read mm -hmm. their book mm -hmm. and do their assignment when there's no light in the village. Oh. If, because there's uninterrupted Wi-Fi, Somebody can buy a laptop for someone in the village and they can go there and browse the internet. And you never can tell the kind of talents that can develop just in the place. Mm -hmm. And while at it, while playing, doing that, they are playing sports because they are sports facilities. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a place where talent is developed. Everywhere and in the world. Stadium, mm -hmm. stadium mm -hmm. takes care of them. And guess what? It wouldn't need to run on state funds. No, put it in but place. it generates funds on its own. Yeah. It there are people in the community who their CSR or who their give back to society will be, okay, I'll, pro I'll provide data as part of, because people are sponsoring football tournaments in yeah, villages. Yeah, yes. So if facilities are there, some, somebody like me can come back to my village and I say, okay, I'll donate uh, 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 internet facility. I'll make sure for one year, I'll be the one taking care of it. And I, before you know, another person will say, the year after you, the year after you, endless. It won't cost government a dime. Mm -hmm. Another person will say, light. Even if you don't have power, I will provide diesel or I will provide generator. generator. These things will be kept functional. Then amongst themselves, you will employ youths to run it. And develop, you unlock development. Well, 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 mm -hmm. well, well yeah. I, I, um, I, it's true. You were talking about um, uh, Rugged Man. You made mention of... Um, office uh, of the... Yeah, uh, office of, of, of uh, the, uh, a, a, An office, of, like um, a ministry or a parastatal or something uh, that will... Um, handle entertainment. Handle, yeah, entertainment. Yes. And it ought to be um, run by a real entertainer, uh, yes. not a phantom entertainer. Mm -hmm. but it is okay, but I think the real problem that we have, uh, or the, the real thing that we need to do, uh, is to have a mental and ethical and attitudinal renaissance. That's what we need. I believe that. In terms of leadership. In, in, I think oh, it yeah, should but I believe that's part of what's happening right every now. Every facet yes. of our national That is life. where we are. That, that is, is why we are doing we are. this obedience yeah. movement. That's, that's why we're here. That is why we're here. It should be because if you don't get the foundations right, every other thing that you are putting on top mm. is, 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 to is a like disaster somebody. waiting to happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. All right, gentlemen, we will take a break. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll continue to talk about the entertainment sector, the way forward uh, with Obidati, uh, Ime Bishop. 
Okun Lagos. He's still here. Rugged man is still pretty much here. Uh, but a, a cappella is on standby. He's doing something else. So um, in place of a cappella, we'll have Funny Bone. Funny Bone is a comedian, an actor. Yes, and a newly married young man. Yes. <laughs> I had to add that. Yes. It's an accomplishment. Of course. Yes. To be married in Nigeria is no joke. <laughs> 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 you know, it's easy. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let me start. It's funny, but since you just joined us, let me, let me go straight to you. Um, lots of young people today are interested in the entertainment space because there are no jobs. No jobs. You know, no jobs. Youth unemployment is at, is at an all-time high. Okay? You have been in the acting industry and the stand-up comedy industry. What are the challenges that a young person out of school or never been to school that decides to choose this uh, career path? What are the challenges they are likely to encounter? Because sometimes when we highlight some of these problems, then we can begin to see clearly how we can find solution from yeah. your own personal experience. Yeah, so mm. I think that, um, you know, as an industry, we can't talk about what you're likely to face without talking about the struggles the industry you know, in itself is going through. Okay. Because if there's, if, if there's a platform and a structure that is, you know, sustainable, then, you know, it can expand and make room for those coming in. And when you come in, good. you enjoy good value, you know, based on the structure that you're seeing on the ground. Good. So, um, and the industry is, you know, it has facets, it has angles, it has, you know. So, I will speak first of all from, you know, the movie and the, um, comedy. you know, yeah, the comedy. I think for music, um, mm. shout out to them. You know, they've been able to do a good job no, not not so much i mean not so much but you know you know compared to no i'm saying compared to you know the film industry and stand up comedy i think that the fact that if i put up a song that is not mine on my videos on youtube it is flagged down that's a plus mm -hmm. yes take it all or good, business. Business. Yes. good business yes take it or leave it mm -hmm. that is a major plus mm -hmm. but you know one of the major reasons yeah it's not being flagged down because of a nigerian structure yeah, but at least it's coming to come. No, why is it being flagged down? Sorry. Okay. You uh, it, it's somebody else's music. It's copyright. Yes. And that's because the original owner probably released that music using an international platform and they monitor every uh, source that oh, is played from. Interesting. Yes. So I'm saying... So we need our own Nigerian structure. Yes. So, but my point is, I don't care where it's coming from. There's a flag down. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, that no, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I needed yeah. that extra uh, yeah. And that will serve, mm. you know, that will serve as some, you know, level of checkmate mm -hmm. as to how your content is being assessed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, comedy videos, I stand to be corrected. They are the most shared, yes, freely viewed content on the internet in the world. And the Nigerian comedy, comedy videos. And stupidly. the owners don't get anything. Bang! It's sad. And nobody's I'm slagging a, you. I'm a victim. And nobody's slagging you down, both yes. internationally yes. or locally. Nobody's helping you. So it's back to the same topic that yeah. if there's a structure where the industry, and this is not even, it's not, I don't know, you know, it's not a foreign thing. It can be local, but it's well done. Because mm -hmm. I'm aware that in Kenya, if you're caught during piracy, it's a big crime. You can go, it's not five it years. It should be a big like crime. It's a, it's, it it's, should be everywhere. Like, like it's a big deal. But here, it's been normalized. You know, where you, you go to buy your content, your, uh, you buy it, you know, in traffic. Your there, there, was, no, there was even a time that, there was even a time, Rugged, you remember, there was even a time mu musicians were paying marketers to pirate their songs. Yes. I paid, let me say. Because yeah, that's how they, you know, from experience. That, you know, you create your song, you pay someone to pirate it. And that's how they, they okay, blow. Sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. in quote, At blue. The time. But you know right now it's still happening in yeah. some Because oh, yeah. some uh, musicians still you know, pay, some DJs pay some. Just like in acting pay, today, yeah. some actors still pay producers to feature them in movies. I, I oh. know, boss, you know, this job, yeah, it just gets to a point where you tell yourself that you no longer dance because there is my, my teacher in school will say, it gets a point in your life where you, you don't dance because you know how to dance. Yeah, but you dance because you enjoy dancing. Yes, yes. But before I go too far, yeah. you have established the fact that, yes, so the structure has to be there.
to make the industry more robust yeah. for the young ones to come in. You have not really addressed that question of what what will likely be the challenge of a young person who's coming. So in. do I do I leave that to? What's going to be that? You know, he's not a young job. person. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to take that question. Okay. Okay. Let's do it, boy. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh. Let him speak for you know. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Let me answer for the youth, please. <laughs> Thank you. That's my question. I will keep it answer. Answer. <laughs> so I think that first of all is <laughs> what are you bringing into the industry? Yeah. I always say this, you know, I ask you know young people like myself this question. What are you bringing into the industry? You, you see an Okun, you like him, you want to be like him. You see a funny bone. You see, you know, uh, okay, Bakasi. Me with the a cappella. No, you, you they sing now. You they rap. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, you know, you see, like, so what are you bringing into the industry? So first, I think is, if you're bringing in value, if you're bringing in value, if you're bringing in something new, if you're bringing in, you know, creativity, something that, you know, would spur and make us even think further, I think you will thrive, you know, as someone who is young in the industry. But if you're coming into to tap, to recreate, to further stretch, to photocopy, to photocopy, mm. to rewrite or to review what <laughs> it's there already. <laughs> yeah. Your lifespan certainly would, you know, would, would, you know, up, you know, up leave you. But mm. having said that, is the fact that if there's a structure, and I'm, I am happy for social media and what you know is doing now, in, in, you know, in my industry mm. or in our industry. Even though I think that it's not, it needs to be, you know, checkmated. But I like that young people are finding their level on their own. Yeah. Where if you're funny, you can make it. You don't need to bug my phone to help you. Mm. From your house, okay. you can create a content. For as long as what you're selling and what you're saying is fact and true, mm -hmm. you're not misquoting mm. anybody. Yeah. You, you're not abusing anybody's brand or goods because you have the space on the internet. Yeah. Where fans can appreciate you. From the comfort of your home directly so basically what government should do to encourage those who can do that is better internet penetration thank uh, you electricity has to get into all the nooks and crannies and internet mm. has to penetrate everywhere so of that course. young people can unleash and then and then also yeah. help uh, you know we have we have um bodies we have like the actors guild we have yes. like the p-man performing musician ah. the government also has to come into mm. that in one way or the other to check what they have on ground on their own and then find out what they need to work and when i say this i want to say this because he, when i just mentioned people i say ah <laughs> now let me tell you something that a lot of people do not know back in the days i used to think p-man was just a place for old reggae artists mm -hmm. and dreadlock that yeah. but until the current uh, p-man president preacher kafo called me and told me his plans now let me quickly tell you real quickly mm -hmm. what he did was he brought banks he's brought hospitals he's brought insurance companies so what he's doing for registered members right now is once you register you get health insurance life insurance you get a pension plan there's even a, a um, access That's to good. small loans good. access to small loans and also he has this uh, thing he's working on now when when you have your music when you come to register your music for release, it gets encoded. Same thing they do with iTunes oh, and Kodu. It good. gets encoded. So once you want, this is one of the reasons why the banks are there. When you now register your music, it gets encoded. It's linked to your account that, you're, that you opened with the bank. I don't want to mention the name. You open mm -hmm. with the bank. Yeah. So now basically what happens is when you do your split sheet, okay, Bakasi is the um, CEO of the record label. He gets 40%. You are the artist. You get 20%. I'm the mi I mix and master. I get 10 He produced tickets. So if you're all registered members, you all have your accounts and everything is linked. Once that split sheet is done, it's put in the system. Anywhere it's downloaded or streamed, your music, your mm -hmm. money goes straight into your account. No middleman. That's exactly. That's what P-Man mm -hmm. is working Fantastic. on now. That's Fantastic. Good. This is one fantastic. Of it's what you have noted. Yes, and it, that highlights the importance of uh, every entertainer belonging to an umbrella association. Yes. Mm -hmm. because all these advantages that come with it. All right, I I understand. I get it because I'm a member board of trustees of the Nigerian Actors Guild, and I understand that it, some actors are yet to become members of the guild. Mm -hmm. Now, in other climbs, you can't even climb the stage if you are not a member of a guild. Yep. You understand? Mm -hmm. You can't go to America today and expect that you're going to feature, show your face in any movie if you're not a member of their SAG. You can't do that. 
But in Nigeria, anybody can stroll from Kotonu, land here, mm. and they are shooting the movie. They say, oh, yeah, come and act, Mr. <laughs> okay, okay. And you're there, suddenly you're on stage. You know, and some of our practitioners don't see any reason in our day. We need to strengthen our guilds because some of these structures, when we create and strengthen them, becomes organs of negotiation with governments and other foreign partnerships. Exactly. So even when government begins to formulate policies, these are the people that they can sit with and say, okay, let's talk to your sector. It's not every time they will have to look at individual actors who sometimes when they go there, they probably don't know because we are creative. Sometimes we are busy creating that we don't even understand the rudiments of these things. Mm -hmm. But a, a, of, officers of an association somehow need to be trained to understand this one. Which brings me back to the creation of the office of the Minister of Entertainment. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, because the one has to, it has to liaise with all these people. Yes. Now, that takes me to uh, Okun, yeah. the question I want to ask, because you have been in government a little. I've been in government, okay. Yes, so uh, you've been in government. Yeah. So, assuming you're one sitting on that desk as uh, director in charge of acting or director in charge of the creative department or entertainment industry and you have to advise uh, like when you were there to advise a governor on what and what to do to make the sector more viable for the citizens in the state what will your kind of advice be i've been in that position as well before i used to be uh, the senior special assistant on entertainment industry matters before. But I'm, but I'm asking you now. <laughs> How did you fare? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough place to be. It's, a, it's, a, it's education <laughs> like no other. <laughs> but I, I'm moderating now, so I'm asking you. You know, you know the, there is, there is, there is, um, it's, a, it's a tall order, mm, mm. very tall order, mm. if your principal, yeah. mm, yes. the interest of your principal does not align uh, I know that. <laughs> is it all or in fact it's a utopia. But regardless of the interest of your principal here, okay. well, I, I'm not asking. I know that and I know that that can be a very big challenge because if the man that you're working for uh, that is not on his I radar his of things to do, it so, becomes a challenge. But does. still, it, that does not stop you from putting together your intention, your ambition, things that you think can be done. So what would your advice be? Like 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 I said, um, entertainment. Yes. Uh, entertainment has like uh, music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have um, all um, those aspects. We have all of them. Yes. Don't list again. <laughs> Who's gonna be on there? Who's gonna be on this one? I'm, you, I'm, I'm trying to manage like my what, time. Like what? Manage I'm trying to manage time. Manage with time. Don't, don't list. Bring, we already know. How, how can you bring a topic that uh, needs to be exhausted in one hour, <laughs> and then you want me to do magic? <laughs> then you think I have a magic wand here? Yes. <laughs> you think we're all magicians here? <laughs> you have to communicate effectively, <laughs> and you have to start somehow, maybe with a preamble before you get to the middle, and then you get into a conclusion. Yeah, because and I don't, then, I don't want to spend <laughs> my time on preamble, but go uh, ahead. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you don't want to. It's very, you want me to summarize it in how many minutes? Look at you. <laughs> when a man says something, and then I will listen. Uh, first yeah. of all, nobody yeah. has monopoly of knowledge. Yeah. Yes. I don't have monopoly of knowledge, and mm. I don't even intend to because yeah. I know that it is impossible to do so. Yeah. Now, if I am in that position, yeah. I know I don't know all. Okay, yeah. I will definitely harness, I Reach will collect, mm -hmm. I will synthesize mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will synthesize <laughs> cerebral <laughs> minds uh, who are going to help me. That's right. Okay. Good, 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 good. Done. good. All right. Like um, in the uh, music industry right yeah. now, that something has been done. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a right step in the right direction. Yeah. It's an excellent. Um, um, uh, uh, thing to do yeah. and then you get it done you make sure that okay fine your principal uh, breathes life on yeah. on, on you're, to you're, you're, you're very correct I'll, I'll give you an idea some of the things that i did you know because i had to learn on the job okay uh i was in the entertainment industry and they suddenly snapped me up and said okay come and work all right um fortunately we have the benefit of education, all of us here. We, you don't even give me finish. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. I thought you were. Sorry. You do what were you talking? <laughs> I just wanted to help you. Okay, but... Help me what am I okay, doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Who will tell you? Okay. Am I, am I doing? Okay. So, okay. <laughs> Who is the entertainer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The entertainer, the professional entertainer is a yeah. person who puts his either humor or music or whatever um, poetic expertise uh, 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 into work uh, in creating happiness uh, 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 in exchange for Naira and Kobo. Yeah. 
So that is it. Now, first of all, you who is an entertainer, uh, you did reorientation. Mm. You who is an entertainer, what is your purpose? Are you getting into the into entertainment industry for the intrinsic or en extrinsic value of entertainment? Mm. Intrinsic as in, uh, mm. are you getting into entertainment uh, to entertain for the main purpose of entertainment or you're getting into it as a means to an end? So what or, or rather, are, are you getting in, into it as an end in itself, mm. or you're getting into it as a, as a means to an end? Yeah, it is terrible for one to say, okay, fine, I want to be an entertainer uh, just because I cannot pay my bills. I believe that uh, people who are doing skits now, mm. those are the people who are yeah. cashing out. I think mm. I want to be an entertainer. Mm. I want to do skits now just because of that. You know? Okay, can I, okay, we'll kill you after this show. You know why? <laughs> because he wanted you to just tell us what you would do. <laughs> First of okay. all, first of all, uh, I go tell them. Uh, like okay, in movies. <laughs> you, like, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, they do like person where they fear in governor. <laughs> <laughs> I say in governor. We can't be fear in governor. No, you can't. No, we hire them. There is something they call interministerial and direct level. Uh, um, committee and jobs uh, in my own state okay. so where they can gather like three or four people because uh, i say okay fine no all right renovate a particular primary school in uh -huh. your own yeah. area and then funds are released okay. to that there are young and up and coming um content producers uh, and, uh, content uh, creators okay. and then all the smaller um, um uh, how do you call it? Movies. Mm. Uh, small, small, small movies that they do. All the small, small mm. films. Low budget films. Mm. Why don't you just gather these producers? You know, in quote, uh. like one, two, three, four of them. Give them startup grants. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, non refundable. Mm. Okay. And then see to the extent that they can use okay. those grants. Uh, and mm. then and turn, turn sure, it around. have a monitoring team <laughs> okay. that will make sure that those okay, grants fantastic. are re-injected again I and recycled. Thank you. You, uh, you managed to escape with grants. one point. Grants. One point. Grants. grants. See all these things. <laughs> See <that> my friend. <laughs> See that my In all these things. In all these things. We managed to squeeze out grants. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we managed to squeeze out grants. All right, time is no longer our friend. And before we round up, before we leave here, fortunately, uh, the man that I've been waiting for since to join us on this panel, um, uh, he's here with us. Charles, you know, Jay, Charles is a, an actor, a director, and um, in fact, a thespian that I have so much respect for. Charles, you're welcome. Thank you. Yes, we've Thank all contributed. Now that you're here, just for you to put the icing on the cake. Um, uh, the Obida team movement, um, uh, with all the effort and the support that Nigerians are giving them, when they become a president and vice president respectively, what intervention can they give to Nollywood to turn it around, to be able to create more jobs? Because youth labor, youth labor is one aspect of our lives that we have to do something quickly so that we put so many people, get so many people working. And Nigeria is blessed with talent. What will be your recommendation to the administration? Okay, great. Uh, against the backdrop of the fact that, uh, I think you already alluded to that, mm. the fact that uh, Nollywood is probably, outside government, the highest employer of direct and indirect labor. Uh, it would be, uh, I mean, sheer foolhardiness for any government to neglect, as they always uh, do, uh, a sector like that. So I would expect that uh, the Obidati government uh, do not make the mistake that past administrations have made, particularly uh, the administration that has shown the industry uh, uh, perhaps more love than any other, which would be the Jonathan administration. And that is bringing cash, hundreds of millions of naira, uh, giving need to some uh, maybe party faithfuls, yes. uh, maybe some uh, yeah. loyalists, uh, loyalists yeah. hangers on and say uh, we want to use this money to develop the industry. Yeah. No, that money would, as it did, uh, end up in the hands of a few persons. Yes. Uh, probably just look out for a few practitioners put some in their hands so that they too would not uh, uh, make noise yes. and the rest uh, becomes a uh, history, I would advise that they don't make that mistake. Mm. What, each time we talk of um, 
uh, assistance for the industry. People think what we need the most is cash. That is not true. That is not true. For instance, we can visit the extant laws, particularly those that uh, speak to piracy. Today, if, a pi if someone is convicted for piracy in Nigeria, the penalty is 50,000 naira. Wow. Try So, I'm, I can, as a wow. pirate, just, wow. you know, pile up some hundreds of billions somewhere. If they are I mean, they give them 50. And continue you to. can't even drop a uh, 1 million in advance. <laughs> so and I don't you, they don't leave. For 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 I don't pay. I can do the rip where I do not sow. But if the laws are made in a way that they are deterrent, in a way that before you commit the crime, you think, you think oh. is this worth it? That is one. Two is that an industry like ours is too large, too, too critical to uh, Nigeria's economy to be left in the hands of a, a you know, a, just party faithfuls. Mm. Uh -huh. People who know nothing about the business. Nothing about mm. it. Maybe mm. some mm. accountants somewhere with mm. all due respect. I mm. don't have any teenagers accountants. Mm. Uh, engineers. Or they are an engineer mm. in the wrong position you, is you wrong. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. Wait till remain. You know that man supported us so much in mm. the, during, the, during the campaign. Uh, uh, administrators don't uh, finish. Yeah, tell him uh, to uh, somebody. Uh, 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 there's this uh, uh, position uh, uh, in this industry. Let him just and put him. And the man will just be there. You know, like they say, uh, around pegs in a square. Mm -hmm. so, uh, at the end of the day, it is uh, it doesn't mm -hmm. work. same old, mm -hmm. same old. So mm -hmm. I would expect that they look out for those people who mm -hmm. are knowledgeable about the business that we do. so that And who have done the business successfully, successfully. over very, time. Very important. Very, very over time. important. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Nigeria is the only place where you don't reckon with people that have done a particular trade mm. when it comes to administering uh, medicine for the sickness of that trade. And Charles, in, in addition, because we are running out of time, in addition to remove some bottlenecks that hinder creativity, you know, a, example, we know that in Nigeria today, if you make some movies exposing some parts of our history that government does not want to hear is not going to be censored or allowed to sell mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to remove those bottlenecks very important. to uh, unlock creativity. Yeah, unlock that is the reason. Like, as they are. Of creativity. Yeah. 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 Tell it uh, as it is. For mm. instance, again, too, there is a, a document that the industry came together to prepare with, that, that we believe, even mm. if it may not be the be all and end all, but this is a document that can be a good starting point for us, mm. which is the uh, Mopicon Bill. We've been on the on the yeah. on that for uh, ages. Yeah. Why can't we have that bill passed mm -hmm. so that we at least have something that regulates the industry? industry. You cannot have an unregulated industry, industry. and hope uh, that one day that industry will mm. make a, we'll just a success mm. with the kind of mm. monumental, you know, huge. Uh, 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 growth that has happened in Nollywood in the past 10 15 years without assistance. Without yeah. assistance, I imagine what it all right, like uh, gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen I, I have to run because mm -hmm. we have a loaded schedule for this program. Thank you very much for your time, Charles Rugged Man and uh, Funny Bone, a cappella and the uh, image bishop. You guys were amazing. All right, we'll take a break again. Don't go anywhere. It's the global fundraising telethon, and we are still here.